Up until now, the only way to level your mastery rank was your descendant levels or your weapon proficiency. But I found a third way. What's going on everybody? In this video, I'm going to go over another way to level your mastery rank. I just discovered this earlier today, and I need to share this with you all. We should all know that you can either do it through your weapon proficiency, leveling, or leveling your descendant. Well, today I discovered something new by scanning through the world map. If you go to your map, I'll just pick Kingston. Anytime you select a level, you can see the gold you get, the XP you get, and the weapon XP you get. But I noticed something else. As I was scanning over the levels, I noticed another icon that showed up on certain items. You can see the gold, you can see the weapon, you can see the XP, but then, right over here, the little 200, that's a mastery rank level. As I started scanning other levels, I was noticing that they weren't on every single one of them. Well, upon research, I found out that you can only get the mastery rank level once, which I guess is good and bad. The first ascendant gives us plenty to do, and a lot of it does become redundant, but this will be a great way to continue leveling your characters and your weapon proficiency, as well as your mastery rank. Like I said, I just discovered this today. Leave a comment below and let me know if you knew about this, or if this video helped you. I do read all the comments, and I do respond to them. I also appreciate you watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, leaving a like, and a comment of what you think about the video or what you'd like to see in future videos. If you'd like to catch me live, I do stream on Twitch on Wednesday and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern and Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. I also have a Discord. There's a link in the description below. Feel free to join that and ask any questions there as well. I do love discovering new things in games and getting them out to the community. And with that, have you seen this video on how to combine modules correctly?